Two dirigibles are slowly cruising above the sea surface. Each of them is following their own course, but both dirigibles have the same destination point. Gigantic airships first flew high in the skies at the beginning of the 20th century, and they posed a strong threat to long-range aircraft almost until the outbreak of World War II. Airships equipped with powerful motors could not only stay high above a specific area and barely spend any fuel in doing so, but they could also cover a distance of over 15,000 kilometers with a payload of up to 90 tons without needing to land, which was a significant improvement in this regard over their heavier-than-air winged rivals of that time. Unsurprisingly, the most comfortable transatlantic airliners in the 1930s were huge German passenger dirigibles, Graf Zeppelin and Hindenburg. Similar giants are now traveling along their own routes to a highly important destination point. There is an archipelago in the world ocean, untouched by the world's shocks and never involved in global conflicts. However, it's well known that any peace is fragile and there's no mercy when it comes to geopolitics. The islands, which belong to a neutral country, reside at a key crossing of ship routes. If one country manages to construct a naval base there, its submarines, aviation and warships will gain control over the oceanic supply routes of their enemy. This is why the dirigibles are flying to the archipelago as fast as possible. Each dirigible is carrying an emissary extraordinary and plenipotentiary who represents their respective superpower. Whoever arrives at the destination point first and delivers their draft of a union treaty to the neutral country will bring control over this incredibly important strategic area to the powers they represent. Each Zeppelin is being escorted by a warship division. They don't have the right to destroy a dirigible traveling under the flag of a neutral country, but they are ready to do everything it takes to slow down the emissary of their geopolitical rival and give the aerial vehicle carrying their own envoy a chance to arrive at the destination point first. That's why the warships aren't just covering their airship along its route, but are also striving to get as close to the airship carrying the enemy emissary as possible. If they manage to do so, the airship will be forced to gain altitude, and this will slow it down. However, if the escorts manage to drive the enemy warships away or destroy them, the airship will drop in altitude and accelerate, which means it will arrive at the destination point faster. The dirigibles are persistent traveling to the island, but only one of them will arrive at the mooring mast at the end of the route. <laughs>